Boys, y'all like bulls that press down the scales? Here they are. Grant, that dude's not very tall, but he is ripped full of good old American meat there. He's a two-year-old, a coming two-year-old, and chunky made little meat bag. These two bulls here, a little more frame, a little bit, bit taller bulls, so they're bulls ready to work. They've been in Texas for a year now, so they're been through all the acclimation stuff. Lovely summers, yay, hot as hell down here. They're not clipped. And they're, they're bulls, they're ready to sow their seeds. <laughs> they don't be, yeah, uh huh. So, Sim Angus composite bulls ready to, to work. Hey, bulls, yeah! Raise some calves that definitely press down. They're a little different type, you know. They, this bull here is chunky, moderate framed. They'll be a little you know, lower to the ground, little deeper of meat wagons. And those bulls there, they'll have a little more grow in them. Does that make sense? So, those are pretty good. Those two bulls are half brothers or two great patterns. So we're buying those. These two bulls buy those two and they'll turn them out. And bulls can cover some country. The taller bull they can cover lots of country. Brace calves. It looks like Angus, but we'll be stouter. Yeah! Put some pounds on the ground. So. And good natured bulls, well, gentle. This little Sim Angus bull again. A little different type. They'll be stout cast, but they'll be more of a, a moderate frame. Won't be as tall, but will be deep middled. Big hip in this little bull. Again, I haven't clipped the bull and all that stuff. He's got crap all over his butt and blah, blah, blah. But you know, you see what I'm talking about. Look at the top of this bull. Get out. Dang it, bulls. He's got a hip, nice hip. Prevailing in the bull. A little lousy. He put some saber on him. <laughs> <laughs> but we see what you get here, boys. I'm not hiding nothing. Yeah! Hey, bull, come around. The hole there. Hey, nice bull. Three nice bulls ready for heavy service again. These bulls are been in Texas for a year, a year plus now, so they've been used to our lovely, hot, humid weather. <laughs>